talk yesterday again about these hot melt extrusion, spray drying, and now today talking more on the lipid-based drug delivery systems. Now these can be complex for a completely different reason. Now you have emulsion-based systems in many cases where you have a distinct oil phase, you have a distinct water phase, sometimes the phases are not particularly distinct, which I will go into. These lipid phases can also be solid in many cases. So these are called solid lipid dispersion, solid lipid nanoparticles, these types of systems. Uh, and also they tend to be colloidal in nature. So there's a very important interplay of the polymers and surfactants that are used in these systems, which allow for adequate solubilization of the drug. The other challenge, which we'll hear in the subsequent talks, is when you have these very challenging systems, how do you measure them? And how do you know how much drug is actually coming out? So Frank, thank you for speaking with us. Um, you delivered a presentation about drug delivery using multi-phase systems. Correct. And these are quite complex formulations. You use a number of excipients. Can you tell us more about the variability of lipid excipients and how this can affect the formulation? Absolutely. So in this talk, we were talking about uh, multi-phase systems. So in this case, typically you have an oil phase, you have a water phase, and you have a surfactant phase, and in many cases, additional excipients that go in there. Now, working traditionally with lipid-based systems, they are typically naturally derived systems. They're made with palm kernel oil, they're made with palm oil, they're made with coconut oil. Now these are natural sources, and this is very far up the value chain, but ultimately it does have an impact on the final formulation. So many of these excipients we like to call exploded pharmacies because they tend to have a tremendous amount of variability, different fatty acid chains, and then ultimately a lot of the surfactants are also ethoxylated. And what this means is that you have a, a tremendous amount of variability. Mm -hmm. So understanding that and understanding how they work with one another, when you start compounding it with one variable excipient, with another variable excipient, with another variable API, there's a, there's a tremendous amount of combinations that are available, and you really have to have an in-depth knowledge of how the lipids are going to behave in order to get adequate drug delivery over time. Mm -hmm.